Good evening and welcome to DePere High School and Rod Qualtry Court for tonight's game between the DePere Redbirds and the Appleton North Lightning. Alongside studio engineer Melinda Cook, my name is Mark Mino and I'm honored to bring you this evening's non-conference game from the Nicolay Bank Broadcast booth. Sit back, relax, we'll get the starters to you right after we get the national anthem and starting lineups out of the way from PA announcer Dan Van Stratton. Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to Rod Kowalczyk Court. On the campus of Dinger High School, for tonight's WIAA Fox River Classic Conference and Fox Valley Association matchup, featuring the Appleton North Lightning and your Deep Ear Rivers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please stand if you are able. Remove your hats and place your hand over your heart. We ask that you remember those who have served and those who continue to serve, protecting the freedoms we enjoy today as we join Aurora Baycare Speed and Strength Coach Olu Sijuade and honor this great nation with the playing of our national anthem. Okay, starters for tonight. First for the visiting Lightning from Appleton North. Kate Vandenberg, a 5'10 senior, we wearing number 15. Shana Williamson, a 5'8 senior, wearing number 1. Tay Moss, a 5'11 sophomore, wearing number 24. Delaney Peterson, 5'9 junior, wearing number 21. And Avery Werfel, a 5'8 freshman, wearing number 20. For the Redbirds, number 24, Sophie Haveman, a 6'0 senior. Number 22, Egan Borowski, a 5'8 junior. Number 13, Claire Bjorgi, a 5'8 senior. Number 5, Jaden Shuselsik, a 5'8 junior. And number 2, Abby Tossel, a 5'5 sophomore, rounds out the starting lineups for tonight's ballgame. Officials for tonight's contest are Michael Graber, John Key, and Reese Volp. Appleton North got out in the win column here last Thursday as they hammered Stevens points 72 to 50. They had some balanced scoring. And we're just going to get back to that here in a second. Titles, 20 regional championships. Right Five after starting lineups Browns. for the Redbirds. Six state tournament appearances with three championships. Tonight, they fly as one. Redbird fans, it's time for Deep Beer Basketball. Let's meet tonight's starting lineup at guard of 5 5 sophomore number one, Abby Tosso. At guard of five, junior number five, Jan Chesosi. At guard of five, senior number 13, Larry Orgy. At four, the five, junior number 22, Egan Borowski. And at center, a six foot senior number 24, Sophie Haifman. Your records are led by head coach Jeremy Boyle, assisted by Matt Shiselson, Joe Emery, Todd Romowski, Matt Caldwell, and Olivia McQueen. Yeah. 
Okay, now that we've got all the nice to see you out of the way, we are ready for tip-off here. Again, Appleton North got out on the winning end, pounding Spash last Thursday, 72-50, and Pierre dropped a tight ball game to Oshkosh West, 54-52. And the Redbird tip-off kid announced as one of the Redbird youth players brings out the game ball to the official. Nice touch. Getting those youth kids involved, and they get a free basketball as part of it. All right, here we go. Nice crowd here for a Tuesday night. A little pre-Thanksgiving ball game. Hope you're here to enjoy it as well. And thank you for everyone listening from the Appleton North crowd. We're not able to make it here in person. Tip controlled by Appleton North. Vandenberg operates between the wheels. Long three on the way by Werfel, no good. Nice box out by Aiffen as she collects the rebound. Redbirds quickly into the front court. Little pull-up jumper by Shashelsek. In and out ball is battle for him. We're going to have a jump ball. As that possession is going to go over to DePierre. Nice stump down to Haveman as she fires the ball back outside. Quick swing, Egan Borowski, three on the way, got it! Nice to get her involved early as the Redbirds strike first, 3 0 to Pier, 17 to go here, first half. Entry pass taken away from Claire as she brings that thing up the middle of the floor. Little give and go, quick runner down the lane. Ball knocked out of her hands. Ball tipped around, and the Piers can retain possession. Early substitution here for North is Sophie Bush, a 5'8 sophomore, comes in as Delaney Peterson's going to check out. Nice slip by Borowski as she gets the easy deuce. And the helper goes to Shashelsek. Redbirds up 5-0 quickly. Long three on the way by Williamson. And that one gets knocked around and tipped out of bounds as Appleton North is going to retain possession underneath their own basket. Williamson inbound. We've got a turnover as Moss picked up her triple. Excuse me, picked up her pivot foot. It's going to be turnover. Redbirds ball. Like to appear, Appleton North is a very young team as they've only got three seniors on their roster right now compared to the Piers four. Michelle Sick wants to get past the toss. Lays it off to Bjorgi. Cut it. we got an early timeout here by North as the pier gets out to a 7-0 lead as Bjorgi lays that one in off the nice give and go. 30-second timeout. Appleton North, again, coming off an opening win over Stevens Point, 72-50. They had four double figures. And Brandon uh, Reichenberger, who was in his fourth season at North with an overall record of 23-46. They finished eighth last year in that rugged Fox Valley Association. And the Redbirds, who are coached by Jeremy Boylo, who is in his eighth season, with an overall record of 127 and 51, did a great job last year as Claire Bjorgi went out in the summer with an ACL injury, and he rallied those troops, and they finished second in conference before bowing out in the WA tournament to DSHA 44-42. 
Sophie Bush with a little handoff to Vandenberg, who stops. A little 16-footer on the way. That one rattles in and out. Ball slapped out by DePierre, and North is going to keep the ball. Williamson with the ball in front of the DePierre bench. She's going to go baseline, and we're going to have a hold. A little body check by Alexa Spath. Two, oh, check that, Abby Tussle. It's going to be her first, team first. And we're going to have an illegal screen. And that one's going to go against Moss. Tay Moss, her first, team first. Peterson's going to come back in as she replaces Moss. Tossel settles into a long three, top of the key. That ball rattles in and out. Bjorgi, quick rebound. Goes middle of the lane, 14-footer. She goes up and gets fouled. She's going to head the line for a couple of shots. North foul number 11. Sophie Bush, first personal. Because that falls on Sophie ball. Bush, her first personal team second. Because Bjorgi is going to head to the line for a couple. And she knocks in her first. 8-0 to Pierre. I am joined by Paul Roop. Nice start here for the Redbirds. There you go. And she gets them both as the Birds are pitching the shutout here early. 9-0, just under 15 and a half to play first half. Redbirds with some nice ball pressure. I know North looks to pressure, but the the birds are turning the tables right now. Yep, we can see a whole lot of that on last Tuesday. As Bush gets the loose physical the box out there. Yep. Michelle said quick to the front court. Borowski settles in with a long three, top of the key, no good. Vandenberg clears that one hand pass. Over to Bush, a little runner in the lane, no good. Haveman clears. Toss a quick push to Bjorgi, finds a cutting to Shelsick. Nice play. Claire with her head up, finds a cutting to Shelsick. And that is her first to 11 0 to Pier 14 and a half to play first half. Long three on the way by Werfel, no good as Tossel collects. Quickly up ahead to Bjorgi as that ball is tipped out of bounds by Werfel. Really good energy by the Redbirds to start the game. Yeah, and they've got a they've got a super light bench here tonight. I was talking to Jeremy before the game. They've only got really seven in the lineup here tonight, as they have got a ton of kids that have been injured. So we're going to see some freshmen. I'm sorry, they've got nine that are playing, um, but he's probably only going to be looking to play seven here. So we'll see how that unfolds. Clear drive baseline gets that cut off. Quick kick over to Tossel. Three in front of the north bench. Got it. 14 0 to Pier as North calls their second timeout. And this one is going to be a full timeout. So, Paul, just kind of what I think Jeremy wanted to dial up here get out of the gates quick. And uh, let's get some other scoring besides Claire as we've got a host of other kids involved as Avery Borowski knocked down a three. Abby Tossel with a uh, two, Jane Shashelsik with five. So really a good start for the Redbirds. North had a couple opportunities at the rim that just a little bit off, and it's really kind of been their best looks. They've been just a bit off while the Redbirds started up hot, and they've hit pretty much everything. Good ball movement. Tonight's winner of the Chicago Street Pizza Player drill baseline, found an open three-point shooter. Yep. Come on to the score table, tonight's winner of the Chicago Just the start that Coach Boilo was looking for for the Redbirds. You bet. And Appleton North, they don't have exactly a, a deep roster here tonight either. They've got nine, and they're probably going to play maybe seven. Uh, at the top, so we'll see how that unfolds. But definitely a great start and a confidence builder, especially for some of those younger kids that are seeing some significant minutes here tonight for DePier. And definitely getting out 14 0, you can kind of dictate a few things here moving forward. And we apologize for a little bit of a late start as we had a little bit of a connection issue getting up and running, but we are all set.
nice defense by Aubrey Fisher, but she's going to get called, I believe, for a little hand check. Number four for 12, Aubrey Fisher, her first. Yep, that's her team first, second. team second. 5'9", freshman. Shana Williamson's going to head the line, and she is no good on the first one. Addie Dwyer checks in for Tussle. Playing some good minutes here, first four minutes of the first half. And Fisher got a physical welcome to varsity. Like how aggressive she's being. Yep. As Vandenberg goes hard right hand, lays that one off the window, and she's going to get an and one opportunity. We picked them. That one's going to go on Hafeman. That's her first. Team's third as Borowski checks in for Hafeman. Vanderberg with the basket. Vanderberg shooting one. The pier looking a little small here, but I know Jeremy doesn't have a ton of ton of cards to play with right now. As Moss is going to check in for Vandenberg. As Reichenberger maybe senses the opportunity, maybe go a little bit big here. This is what North likes to do. Make you work it up the court. Yep. Got it to that. Try and get some turnovers. Yep. Bird's a nice job breaking that pressure. I think that's going to be the key as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. If they could just maintain playing the pace they want to play, break the pressure. Shelsick knocks down a long three from the left wing. And she is up to five as the pier extends that lead to 19 4. 13 minutes to play here, first half. North's leaving some three-point shooters open. They are. Hands down. I mean, she had a player on her, but there was, you know, she did not get up in her shooting, in her way for shooting. Fisher does nice a nice play. job getting a piece of that ball. Shelsic gets tied up down low by Williamson, and we're going to have alternate possession. That ball's going to go to North. Yeah, I think they probably looked at the, uh, the scouting report and said, hey, Claire had 30 last Thursday. Better Nobody else really did anything. Maybe we'll take our chances. And yeah. certainly it appears is paying off by some of those other perimeter shooters right. knocking down shots. Hands down, take advantage. Mm -hmm. As Williamson's going to grab a seat here, get a little break here for North. Quick side, top side as Bush grabs it. She's going to go up a little off balance, mm -hmm. but she's going to draw the fall. I believe even Borowski is going to get called for a little push with her body. That's going to be her first, team fourth. And as Bush is going to head to the line for two shots. Bush sold that one pretty well. Too. There you go. Tussle and Haifman jump in. As Fisher and Shishelsik are going to grab a little, little H2O. And she splits the pair, 19-5 De Pier. A little 1-2-2 one, two, two pressure. De Pier has not had a problem breaking it so far. And they get the ball across the time. A little Claire almost caught for a <laughs> travel there, but got rid of it just before that other foot came up. Hafeman kind of double looks opposite Skip. It's appear a lot more convincing with the side top side action here as they're swinging the ball a lot more efficiently than they did last, last week Thursday. Things breaking down. Claire takes it right side. Knocks that one off the window. Nice runner by Claire. She's up to eight. 21-5 to Pier. They keep opening up. She's just taking advantage. She can go to her right hand and they have no answer for that. Mm-hmm. Vandenberg leaves that one short as Hafeman clears ball quickly in the front court. Tossel settles into a three front rims that one. Hafeman collects the rebound, goes up strong left hand, but they were to get her for a travel. Nice job running the four by Sophie Hafeman. Like the aggressiveness by Tossel letting go of that three. Again, sometimes that might be your only, your only good shot in the possession and certainly felt the confidence, just left it a little short. North missed a number of shots now right at the rim. Mm -hmm. That's really, they're sitting on five points, and that's the biggest reason why now. Yep. Moss working down low against Hafen. As Peterson goes up. 
There's another one, just all kinds of the rim, but yep. then the over the back after being a little frustrated. Peterson's going to pick up her first foul, team's third. Shelsick checks in for Dwyer. I apologize, I missed that substitution for North. Oh, Williamson checked in. There we go. As North gets out of that 1-2-2 two, two press. Dump down to Haveman. She's double, double right away. Yep. yep. Nice reversal. Tossel lets go a three. Egan Borowski working Hunter underneath, grabbing the rebound. We're going to have a tie-up. And this ball is going to stay to Pier. Yeah, they're doubling pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So let's keep the ball moving. Look for your open players. Three on the way to Shelsick, no good. Long back rebound. Comes out to Moss, quick ahead up to Vandenberg, and she lays that one off the backboard as we had a good look ahead and a run out by the North Lightning, and they knock an easy deuce off the back off the backboard. 21-7 to Pier. And just like that, North back in that one, two, two pressure. Finds a knife and Borowski gets tied up in a ball stripped from her as Williamson. Knocks that one out of her hands. Quick push and dump down, down to Moss. She goes up right hand, no good. Haifman clears. Nice flow to this game, a little up and down. As Tassel will reset up on top. Borowski settles in right on top of the Redbird logo at half court. They get clear off of a nice back screen from Haifman. Hethry comes up a little bit short. As Moss clears. 9.40 Red. to play here first half. 21-7 to Pier. Redbird's back's the team that time. Mm -hmm. Stop the transition. And maybe a little forced action there as Vandenberg was looking for Moss and throws that one out of bounds. As Claire is going to get a quick break. As is Egan Borowski. And we've got Fisher checking in for the Redbirds. And North is going to pick up in that 1-2-2 two, two right away. Selsic sends that one over to Dwyer. And North had their ideas of picking that one off. Is Pierre having a little bit of problem? A little trouble trying to navigate that press as Coach Boilo picks up a 30-second timeout to get the troops organized. A little bit of FRCC action here tonight as it seems like everyone is playing. We'll run down the quick list here and see if we can get you some scores uh, here at halftime as West up here is at Ashwabanon. Sheboygan North with the non-conference matchup at DSHA. Manitowoc Lincoln is at Green Bay East. Pulaski is at New London. Sheboygan South hosting Sheboygan Falls. Green Bay Preble hosting Appleton East. And a really good ball game over at Bayport. Katana made the trip up Highway 41 to play the Pirates. And we will see if we can get you some scores here at halftime with those contests. Again, Appleton North real balanced scoring last Thursday as Kate Vandenberg and Avery, Avery Werfel had 14. Tamas and Shana Williamson each had 12 in that route over Spash. As we're going to have a grab. Sheena Williamson gets a little first overzealous on top. She's going to pick up her first. Team fourth. It's BR game. Borowski take a, a breather. <laughs> Redbirds are looking for someone to take charge yep. and get organized here. And Coach Boyle is just looking to buy maybe another 30 seconds or so, and we'll see those two check back in. Appleton North goes a little zone right now. Yeah. Just a little skip pass off of a flare screen by Adam Dwyer. Haifman playing in the middle of that zone. 840 to play for Staff Shelsick. Three on the way, top of the key. No good ball battle round. Tipped. 
And that one is off the pier. Appleton North basketball, 8.43 to play, 21-7 Redbirds. Well, Coach Boyle is looking for a little more scoring as last Thursday. Claire had 30, and it went down after that from there. Abby Tossel had 9, and Sophie Hafman with 7. I know one of the things was getting Shazel sick and Dorowski, the scoring column, they've done a nice job here so far. As Hafman comes away with that rebound, Tossel could push ahead up to Dwyer. And the Redbirds, after a hot start, have now kind of cooled mm -hmm. off, sitting on 21 for a while here. They're still playing that zone as they get Hafman short corner. Dumped down by Fisher. She puts it on the deck as Dwyer gets loose. Little pull there up. There we 15 go. Footer. It's a little bit of a look what I found. Yep. Jumper. We'll take it. We'll take it to kind of break that seal here. That would have been a little bit of a scoring draw. 23-7 to Pier. I believe that was a long three in the corner. Comes up well. Well long by Williamson as Hafman collects yet another rebound. Redbirds got to keep their spacing. Try and get that zone moving. Yep. Run a little get screen at the top there. Well, I would think without your two of your better players, you think North may want to go man to man and pick up the pressure a little bit, but he's reluctant and sticking in that zone. North ball number 24, T Moss. As that falls on T Moss for seconds. We've got substitutions in as Bush and Griffith pop in and Moss and Peterson pop out. As Bjorgi checks in. Gives Addie Dwyer a little rest. As Hafman gets it down low, she tries to pivot. She's going to get tied up here. And we're going to have Appleton North ball as Hafman... Well, it's that cardinal sin brought that ball below her waist, and they pounce on it and tie her up. Good strong baseline yep. drive. Yep, Williamson got that left hand going to the rim. Number five, number five. Yeah, begin there. First personal. Their struggles to finish. Yep. And Shell's like a little Still late on that seven. Goes out, picks up that fall, and that is her first team fifth. Boy, North is struggling from the line here tonight. As Williamson splits them. And Sheena was a 65% free throw shooter last year, so numbers would kind of play out there. She probably would make a little few, or a few more than she'll miss, but certainly on the 50-50 ball here tonight. 23-8 to Pier. Six minutes to play here first half. Really packing things tightly. There's no driving lane. Yeah, that's the problem you're going to have. Yep, Claire's going to get some, some open looks as so she comes up short on that three. North quickly into the front court. Williamson settles into a three, comes up short on that as Bush comes away with the rebound. Ooh, nice spin pivot by Vandenberg. Comes a little long as the pure quickly into the front court. Tossel in front of the north bench. Bjorg using the Fisher screen, nothing going on. There you go, nice, nice post pin. Speed. Yep. Really nice pin. Got her on that high hip, dumped down left hand. And that was sweet going glass as Hafman gets her first bucket. And we're going to have a little bit of action as I believe that was Bush kind of plowing into the crowd. We're going to have an offensive foul. She comes up massaging a few parts, elbows and arms and shins and knees. So she picks up the foul. And that is her second. She's going to check out. 
along with Sherwinsky, Williamson and Sherwinsky and Peterson both check back in for the Lightning. A lot of credit to Soselchek for staying in there and taking that charge. So mm -hmm. great defense. Toss a long three on the way, front rim no good. As Vandenberg pulls that one in and she'll bring it up herself. The Redbirds have cooled off from three, so yep. they'd be wise to keep trying to get the ball inside. And luckily, North has Play followed. inside and out. Yeah, North has followed soon as they have gone ice cold from the perimeter as well. As Werfel goes glass on a little running right hand for 14. And that is her first bucket, 25-10 to Pierre. Closing them four and a half here to play first half. And we're going to have a grab down low as Hafman gets positioned down deep. And that fall is going to go on the Appleton Northern North Lightning as Avery Werfel picks up her first. And that will put to Pierre the bonus as Hafman's going to head the line for the one and one. She is good on the first. She is good on both. 27 to 10. Redbirds by 17. Now we're going to have a little reach. I think that one's going to go on Claire. Yep, as she picks up her first team, the sixth. First personal, Spinning left hand as Delaney Peterson gets into the lane from about 10 feet. And that is her first bucket. 27-12 to Pier. Four minutes to play first half. Clear catches mid lane. Nice dump down to Hafman as she finds Shelsick wide open on the perimeter for a long three. No good. In and out. Quick push ahead to Peterson as she drives baseline cut off. I like that look uh, yes. coming off the post. Cotterid rhythm heading into the basket, so just got to knock it down. As Werfel plays with it all on a three-point line and lets one go and knocks that one down as Werfel is up to five, cutting into that Redbird lead. 27-15, three and a half to play first half. North content to let DePierre shoot from the perimeter in that zone as Tassel's going to line one up right in front of our vantage point as that one rolls in and out. As Werfel collects the rebound, going to bring that one up between the circles. Borowski doing a nice job of cutting her off. She goes right baseline, no good on the running one-hander as Hafman collects a rebound, bounce past Bjorg over to Tassel. Goes strong in the basket, right hand lays that one up and in. Nice play by the sophomore guard. As Peterson goes baseline, she knocks that one off of a tough challenge. Goes glass as Peterson's up to 4, 29-17. Great bounce pass by Claire on that prior possession as Borowski lines up a three. Okay, and we need somebody really tall to go and get that ball as that ball gets wedged up into the backboard. Paul, I knew you were going to be all over that, but you saw one of the uh, mop it kids yeah, down the there with a long pole. So the mop kids are probably on top of probably it. risking serious injury if that yeah. if, if we go it on the floor. And as that yep, ball is the, the mop kids are multi-purpose. That's why they get their names announced at the beginning <laughs> of the game. New Great helpers. There you go. New Great feature helpers. to the Redbird um, game day experience. We've got some of our youth players out with customized mop boards that are mopping up the sweat in between plays or free throws. So I 
And with that wedge basketball, it is alternating possession as the pier keeps it down here. The pier can be patient, right? They're not coming out and challenging him. Yep. As Borowski had a little 15 footer from the elbow, and that one goes right as Dwyer tries to save it. Appleton North comes away with it. Peterson making away a variety, a little pivot. See that one comes up short. As Dwyer comes away with the rebound, Bjorgi quick front court of Shishelsik. Claire Long skip pass to Egan as she goes up strong, right hand, nice find by Claire. Seeing Egan on that low block as she goes up and draws a contact and she's going to hit the line for a couple of free throws. That ball, uh, excuse me, that follows on Werfel as she picks up her second team eighth. And she is good on the first. These are important points. The North has climbed back in this game. Along with Moss. And the Redbirds are kind of relying on threes that are currently not falling. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get to the line and get some points here. There you go. Griffith and Werfel both grab a seat for North. As Avery comes up a little short on that second opportunity, Birds by 13, minutes a minute and a half to play your first half. Nice dribble drive by Vandenberg as she goes strong down the lane, left hand, and knocks that one in. She's up to seven, Birds by 11. At this point, North is just looking to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. Catch the ball and attack. Yeah, it appear not the not the biggest team. Um, so certainly might have a little advantage or strength wise as they uh, get some of that dribble penetration. The Redbirds could uh, just hold for one here. Let's see what they end up doing. Those wires got tied up and she is called for a double dribble and turns that one over in front of the north bench. As Aubrey Fisher is going to check in for Borowski. And we are at 44 seconds to play here in the first half. Lightning looking to end on a positive note here. Bush getting loose on the inside. She leaves a 10-footer short as Fisher comes away with the rebound. Thir 26 seconds to play here. Claire a little step back three, lets that one go. Uh, air ball strong as Haifman comes away with it underneath. Tied up as Coach Boyle. Gets the timeout. A, exactly. Calls a very good timeout here to maintain that possession. 20 seconds to play here, first half. Birds by 11. Certainly, the pier has gotten a little stagnant here in offense as North has stayed out in that zone and has really forced the action as other kids outside of Claire have taken shots. And really good looks, just not able to come away with so many baskets. And just like that, I will make mention to our fine sponsors that sponsor the Boys and Girls Program here at Pier Exhaust Pros, Green Bay Family Dentistry, Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Baycare Clinic, Nicolay Bank, Mealman's Electric, Greystone Alehouse, Harmon Studios, Chicago Street Pub, Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin, and Cotter Funeral Home. Without you guys, we cannot do what we do. Thank you very much, sponsors. Trouble here in boning the ball as the Piers are going to turn that one over. Asha Shelsick was trying to hit Fisher and thought she was going one way and she ended up throwing it the other way and throws it out of bounds. North is going to have an opportunity to draw this thing under double digits going into halftime. We'll see what happens. As North goes into a little horn set. Nice defense. Yep. Moss trying to good go hands. strong right hand. No good as Bjorgi brings this thing up. Five seconds. We're going to let her go. Quick kick to Shelsick. Right line three, no good. Rebound, follow Great Fisher ball. at the buzzer. Boy, Johnny on the spot as Aubrey Fisher there to collect a loose change. She knocks in her first deuce at the buzzer as the Pure Redbirds maintain that double digit lead as they go into halftime with a 32 19 lead. We'll be back here in a couple of minutes and we'll give you leading, or, uh, team scores for both 
and we'll see if we can find some other scores here around the conference. So we'll sign off here for a couple of minutes. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.
Welcome back to De Pere High School on Rod Kowalczyk Court as the Redbirds and Appleton North Lightning battle it out here 32-19 lead by De Pere. Leading score, actually, scores for everyone. First, we'll start with the visiting Lightning. Shana Williamson had two in the first half. Sophie Bush with one. Kate Vandenberg had seven. Avery Werfel had five. And Delaney Peterson had four. For the hometown Redbirds, Abby Tassel with five. Jane Shuselsik with five. Egan Borowski with six. Sophie Haifman with four. And each of the freshmen, Aubrey Fisher and Adelyn Dwyer had not, excuse me, had two. And Claire, Claire Bjorgi leading all scorers with eight. So nice balance for the Redbirds. And certainly probably putting a smile on Coach Boilo's face as they're able to spread the ball around and knock down some shots. So certainly positive first half here for the Redbirds. App was not working, so could not get you any other scores around the conference. But if we get some here in the second half, we certainly will. After tonight's ball game with North, De Pere hosts this Friday, or excuse me, a week from Friday, Green Bay Preble, seven o'clock tip, and then they turn around the following day and host the Phantoms from West De Pere at a 6 p.m. tip-off, which should be an excellent game. They then hit the road for a couple of really tough games. Conference full, Bayport on December 7th, and then that Saturday, December 9th, against a very good Kimberly team. For Appleton North, after tonight, they are the Kettle Moraine Thanksgiving Classic on Saturday as they play Wauwatosa East in a 145 tip-off. They then travel to Nina, who is led by UConn, Signee and then they head to Nina on Tuesday, November 28th. Excuse me, uh, Hortonville on Tuesday, no Thursday, November 30th for some back to back very tough games against both Nina and Hortonville the last week of November. And then they also host West Pier on Tuesday, December 5th. We are back to action. As Paul Roop is getting hooked up here on the headset. As North is going to get the ball here out of the halftime. I like to think that I helped that half-court shot go in because I handed him the ball. Yeah, but so yeah, so for everybody uh, watching, maybe online, we have a promotion through Greystone where kids get to shoot free throws, three-pointer in half-court. And we gave away a 100 wing party as one of the uh, lucky contestants knocked one in from half court. So certainly a good time every time you get to celebrate some of the good food over at Greystone, Greystone Ale House. And we don't want to slight our other sponsor, Chicago Street. And I know Paul has his favorite pizza. Mine yep. is over at Chicago Street, but I know. There he goes. Hafen finds a cutting tassel. And the Redbird scratch here first as Tossel is up to seven. They do sling a fantastic pizza over there. There you go. That's good defense there. Yep. Hafen Hafen. steps around that. Yep. Not so great seal and knocks that one away as Bjorgi comes away with it. Bjorgi drives and dishes and finds Tossel sitting by herself. And nice. she knocks down the three. Nice catch and shoot and rhythm. Absolutely. Everybody's going to be kind of drawn like moss to light when Claire puts that ball on the floor. As Delaney Peterson gets loose with the right hand and goes glass, she's up to six. Cuts into that Redbird lead here a little bit as the Redbirds are up to 16 as they break this press very nicely. Very patient, get it to that middle. There you go, down to the block. That's the way you draw it up. You just need Egan to make that layup as Hafman collects the offensive rebound, oh. lays a little bit strong, too, from the other side. Just a hair off both sides yep. on the finish there, but. Certainly upset with herself. Clear a little right hand runner. That one goes back rim, cuts her own rebound. Uh, Redbird's just quick to the ball right now, so. Yep. As Clear brings that one down, she's going to get tied up. We're going to jump ball as the Pierre's going to keep that one. Catching North a little flat footed. Mm -hmm. uh, as Griffith is going to check in for Moss. Replacing Moss. Nothing more demoralizing than getting a couple of stops on defense and having them get the offensive rebound. 
Borowski, nice slip. She gets the easy deuce as Dwyer finds her on the inbound. Borowski is up to eight. Redbirds by 18. 15 and a half to play here in the ballgame. Borowski doing a nice job going straight up on defense. The thwart Vandenberg is North whips the ball a little bit around here on the perimeter. Nice little reverse pivot as Borowski goes up and blocks that opportunity by Griff. The ball rolls out of bounds and North is going to keep it. You look at the Redbirds with their short bench and you wonder a little bit how their energy level would have been coming out in the half, but they have been flying around. They've come out with a lot of energy to start this half, and yep. it's paying off in the super, scoreboard right now. You bet. Super positive. As Fisher's going to give Borowski a little break. Shayna Williamson knocks that one in. She's up to four, 39-23 to Pierre. Fisher gets tied up on that, finds Claire, a little running run, hand on the baseline, a little bit long on that one. As Bush with the one-hand push pass into the front court, quick swing over to Griffith, three on the way, that one hits backboard first, no good. As Dwyer comes away with the rebound, Bjorgi, quick push up the tassel, she gets bottled up here on the block, tries to throw that one out to the perimeter as Peterson comes away with the steal. Wouldn't surprise me if Coach Boylo gets a timeout sometime soon. The Redbirds are getting sped up a bit here. Vandenberg collects that and goes left elbow down to the right block. And she's going to pick up a pre-shooting fall as Haifman picks up her second. That's team's first. Pearson reverse dribble as she comes in with a little running left hander. Comes up short as Haifman pulls down another rebound. As Claire gets knocked to the ground, I believe it was a pass. North ball number 15, Kate Hangerberg. As, yes, they are going to call that one. Oh, top as De Pierre's going to inbound that ball right in front of us. As the Redbirds go right to left as you're watching on the TV. Or computer or phone. We have a little nickel dime road on top. This player draws another fall. Fourth fall number one, Shayna Williamson, her second. Now it's going to be on Williamson, her second, team second. Lightning talking on defense, trying to ramp up that pressure on the Redbirds. As Griffith taps that one out of bounds. As Moss and Werfel check in, and Griffith and Bush each check out for the Lightning. Now they're extending a bit. Back to man to man. Claire settles into a long three right for the Redford bench, knocks that one down as Claire's in double figures with 11 as she finds the range from three. Nice screen there, she popped free on the wing. As Williamson gets the equalizer from the top, and she is up to seven. Nice post feed into Haifman, and she gets that one denied from Moss. Quick skip around as Dwyer pulls a trigger from three, no good. Peterson brings that ball into the front court. As Williamson with a long, excuse me, a short one. That one goes long. Redbirds control 42-26. Birds by 16. 13 minutes to play in the ball game. And we're going to have a timeout here by Coach Boyle as a little coaching point over here to Aubrey Fisher trying to get her to move without that ball. Timeout team here. This is a full timeout. Always the uh, 
soothing sounds of the 60s, 70s, and 80s from our <laughs> musical director and ultimate PA announcer, Dan Van Stratton. I'm trying to find a way to hit the delete button on some of those, but I know he'll just... He'll call me out on it. He'll find a way to download it right away. So you know, it's just it's a it's a mood. It's all good. It's sort of like Thanksgiving dinner, right? It's just something yeah. that puts you to sleep. And yeah, I'll have to get with Dan and maybe get something jumping here a little bit. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors: Exhaust Pros, Green Bay Family Dentistry, Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Baker Clinic, Nicolay Bank, Newman's Electric, Greystone Ale House, Harmon Studio, Chicago Street Pub. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin and Cotter Funeral Home for taking care of the pure boys and girls basketball programs. We just had our, gosh, I think it was our eighth kickoff, ninth, I don't know, something like that, uh, last Friday where we invite the entire basketball community into the gym and we have a big light show. We got the Milwaukee Bucks Rim Rockers and, um, you know, it's just all the great things that the Booster Club and basketball programs are able to do here for the pure basketball. Always a fun event. You bet. Raise over $2,200 for a young lady in the community. Yep. yep, so always showing that generous side as well and people coming forward to help out in time of need certainly oh, something oh, that we're very fortunate to have here in this community. As Vandenberg picks up her second, team third. They're drawing a ton of, ton of folks. In and out on that three. Yeah. Ooh, pick clean. Yes. Fisher with a strip. Nice Picture play pocket. by, yep, nice play by the sure. freshman as she battles for that rebound and puts in a second chance opportunity. Yeah, the freshman just bringing some energy. Mm -hmm. Claire with the block. Yeah, Worf will try that little one-hander. Claire, I think, got both hands on that one. Dwyer looking for that oh, post good aggressive, to Haifman. Good aggressive post steal. Yes, they were working that side as Dwyer was looking for a way to get that ball into that post. Haifman got it one strong right hand, knocked that one off the window. No hesitation, just went up strong in the end one opportunity. As Peterson picks up her first. Alexa Smith gets her first minutes here. As she checks in for Tassel, doing a nice job. Alexa Smith, a 5'2 freshman. As Peterson goes hard baseline, I believe. Another freshman in the game. Spieth is going to pick up her first varsity fall as she whacks her on the arm coming through. Peterson misses the first one. Borowski checks in for Haifman. And no good on the second as Dwyer comes away with that rebound over to Bjorgi. Just under 12 here to play in the ball game. Redbirds by 21. Now Fisher hasn't backed down. She's mm -hmm. just being physical and nice backdoor Addie cut. Dwyer. Addie Dwyer slashes baseline. Claire Biorgi finds her and she knocks in the little runner. She has got four as the birds really stretching this thing out. And 23 here, 11 and a half to play. I think it's a good sign they're able to stretch this lead with three freshmen mm -hmm. on the court right now. Nice job, Smith forcing that turnover as Dwyer comes away with it. She gets tied up on the inside. Smith looking for a little help. Excuse me, Spath. As Claire resets from the top. Little crossover spin. Finds Dwyer right in front of the Redbird bench. Long three on the way, no good. As Peterson comes away with that rebound. Oh, check that. Fisher. Borowski comes up a little short on that opportunity to feed from Claire. As Peterson's going to go 
Strong, and that ball comes off the backboard no good as Fisher comes away with the rebound. And there it appeared. <laughs> Coach Boyle likes it because the foul is drawn, but I think he was looking maybe for, hey, let's, let's not try and penetrate everything, right? Let's get some opportunities to win that ball, but uh, certainly the freshman with a good aggressive take to the basket gets rewarded with drawing the foul. I would say the whistles rewarding those were yes, aggressive tonight. Absolutely. As Williamson and Peterson both check out. Look at Fisher open on that screen. Claire gets the unbound long three on the way, no good. Vandenberg clears. Werfel with a long three front rim, no good. Borowski battling for the rebound, pulls that one away. And gives it up to Claire. High ball screen from Egan as Dwyer checked that Fisher resets over to Spath. They're doing a much better job of moving without the ball. Certainly maybe not to the speed, but at least they're getting out. They get rid of the ball. They're moving. They're cutting. Making that defense earn a little bit. Claire goes baseline, gets that one rejected by Bush. Quick push ahead. Good it's hands. Bjorgi, yep. Nice foul as Bjorg gets her hands on that. She's going to deliver over to Spath. Goes window, no good. Oh, aggressive rebound by Dwyer. Dwyer kicks that one. I was Borowski. Oh, skelter collects. action here. Long three on the way by Dwyer. No good. Battle for the rebound is Borowski. And Worf will get tied up as. Tussle. Tossel and Haifman check in as a couple of freshmen check out in Dwyer and Fisher. Timeout, and timeout Appleton North got a full timeout. So certainly, Paul, freshman giving you some good minutes, and that is something that is desperately needed as they've got a short bench. And Coach Boyle has got to be huge. happy with that, yeah. I mean, they've played significant minutes tonight. Yep. Been coming off a physical game. You know, they've only really been practicing for two and a half weeks. Physical game last Thursday. Couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah. And, I mean, some of the kids that aren't in the lineup, right? Addie Chapman, um, who saw a lot of minutes last year. K.K. Anderson, who started at point for him. Um, so he's definitely missing a couple of pieces. Kira Washington is still out. Um, so he's definitely got some more tools that are still coming back that he does not have here tonight. So yep. hopefully we'll get them back and, and see what they can do. Again, after tonight... For the pier, uh, host a couple more games next week, Friday, December 1st. Green Bay Pebble comes to the pier at 7 o'clock, and, and then the day after, December 2nd, Crosstown Rival West of Pier comes knocking for a 6 p.m. tip, which should be a fantastic game as West of Pier has a lot of kids back from their Bay Conference Championship team, so it should be a really rowdy atmosphere here next week, Saturday. And that following week and weekend, we've got several boys' games, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a busy. Busy stretch here as we start December. Puts a smile on Paul Roop's face as he gets to set up <laughs> that computer several times. This is about the earliest I can remember we've had uh, this many games, mm -hmm. so. There we go. Clear, nice little dump off to Alexa Spieth running the floor as she gets her first bucket as a varsity performer. Boy, the lid is on the basket as Bush front rims that one. Bird's up by 25. Quickly front court. Borowski looking about a three, decides otherwise. Right nice hand goes fake. down. Yep. And she goes strong. Look, she might have got whacked in the face. Checking to make sure that all of her teeth are there. All good for Egan as she's going to head to the line as Bush picks up her third. North still out there giving, giving tremendous effort yeah. in spite of the, the deficit. They just couldn't get a lot of shots to fall tonight. Wholesale subs for Appleton North. And 
And Borowski was good on that free throw, and she is up to nine. Nice job by Tossel. Taking that away as Bjorgi comes away with the strip. Dump off to Borowski. Tossel gets her hands on it. She was going up for that shot. Had that one be partially deflected. Haifman mid post, kind of up and under. She goes up strong to be rewarded with the foul as she gets mauled mid lane. Get ahead of the line here for a couple of free throws as I believe. Yeah, Kate Vandenberg picks up her fourth. Team seven. Team seven. So the Redbirds are in the bonus moving forward here at the eight minute mark as Haifman settles into a two shot attempt as she goes back rim strong on that one. Fisher, now Fisher checks in for Borowski. As Hafen splits the pair. And she is up to eight. Nice balance scoring for the pier. A little bit of a scrum down on the floor as Williamson loses that. Oh, and missed Tossel from that back door. She gets loose herself anyway, throws that one off the backboard. No good. Haveman tries to keep it alive and she steps out of bounds as Griffith checks in Griffith. for Bush. 53-26, seven and a half to play here in the ball game. Nice anticipation by Bjorgi. Yeah, she's got to have five steals here in the second half as Bjorgi leads the charge, gives it up to Tossel. Lays that one off the backboard. She's going to draw the foul. Head to the line draw for a couple of free throws. A little short on that one. And we are going to have a timeout by Appleton North. Appleton North. This is a Coach timeout. Reichenberger is going to look to I'm gonna settle the down. I'm going to say 80s on this. 80s on this song? This song. We'll see. Well, we haven't heard YMCA in a while. Maybe well, he's going deep. I'm... We're sitting across from him, and he's rifling through his iPad here, trying to find just the right song. Oh, it's more recent. That was off. Paul, I am not current on this. Who is this? Oh, give me a minute. Oh. I know we have a full time out, but... The finals from some early action, FRCC. Ashwabanon defeated Seymour back on November 14th, 42-32. Sheboygan South beat Denmark, 39-32. West Pier over Pulaski, 63-42. Sheboygan North over Port Washington, 53-45. West Pier knocked off Green Bay Southwest on the 16th, 45-37. Manitowoc Lincoln big over Milwaukee King, 83-43. New London over Ashwaubenon, 55-48. Port Washington over Sheboygan South, 64-34. Green Bay Preble over D.C. Everest, 52-24. And Seymour nipping Pulaski, 39-37. On Friday, November 17th, and Appleton East hammered Sheboygan North, 82-37. A big ball game last Saturday as Pewaukee traveled up to Notre Dame and came away with an eight-point win, 60-52. And two of the better teams in the state of Wisconsin battled it out in an early season matchup. As Appleton North turns that one over. As Aubrey Fisher gets tied up after she stripped that ball and appears going to keep possession. Avery Brosky is going to check in for Claire Bjorgi. Vanderbilt, 
Hafen with a nice pin down low. They do not get her the ball as the ball is skipped over to Fisher. Long three on the way, no good. As Williamson comes away with that one. Quick side, top side. Over to Peterson, she loses control of that as Williamson snaps off a three in front of the north bench. As Dwyer's going to come away with that one. Kick over to Tossel, finds Borowski, reverse on top, three point on the way, got it! That one bang right through the bottom. Egan Borowski lines one up and knocks down a triple from the top, and she's into double figures with 12. Moss skip pass over to Vandenberg. She brings it mid lane, resets top of the post. Van Ma excuse me. Moss with a nice pin on, Sa on Sophie Hafman. And she's going to draw the fall and head the line here for a couple. After what was probably a disappointing game for Egan on Thursday, coming out here with a lot of fire and getting into double digits, knocking down a couple of jump shots. As Moss back rims that first one. Bjorgi checks in for Tassel. Moss front rims the first one, misses on both. North with the rebound as Vandenberg collects and she gets triple teamed. And picks up the fall. Right of the lane as Fisher picks up her second team's fourth. Birds by 31, closing in on five and a half here to play first half. Or Very me, nice bounce game. back game for the Birds. Mm -hmm. Kind of a lazy post pass as Hafman knocks that one away. As Bjorgi collects and brings it into the front court. Hafman, nice pin down Bjorgi with eh, a little bit of a High hand pass that was almost knocked away weak side to Pierre Klex. As Fisher lets go about a 16 footer comes up short. Redbirds retain possession. Nice find by Hafman. Boy oh boy as she had Fisher all alone on the doorstep and put that one long as North pushes quickly front court. Nice left hand by Vandenberg as she goes glass. She knifes down the middle of the lane. Vandenberg is up to nine. Oh, nice take by Fisher. She gets the feed from Hafman up on the elbow and drives down that right side. Hafman doing a really nice job of finding other shooters and cutters on the floor. Team's ninth. Fisher shooting two. Fisher comes up short on that opportunity. Been really impressed with the, the freshmen and how much they battled tonight. Yeah, he's had great contributions from, from all three. Again, as Dwyer and Fisher got the majority of the minutes, but Alexis Spath came in and yeah, gave, chipped uh, in. Yeah, gave Boyle some great, great extended minutes here in the second half. Boy, as Moss had a nice pin down on Hafman. Just can't quite get her the oh. ball. Because Vandenberg's long on that opportunity. Bush collects the rebound but throws it away to Borowski. Claire with a nice leave off. Yes, and an and one as Dwyer gets whacked on the opportunity to the basket. She's going to get a traditional opportunity for an and one. And a three-point play as Claire seen the floor really nice with a nice delivery to the bounce pass. Spath comes in for Bjorgi. As the birds are up 32. And she converts the three point play. As she is up to seven. And Spath got her mitts on that one as the ball came through her area. Tipped that one away. Fisher with a strong drive left hand, and she's going to pick up the foul. 
Well, those kids have played really well here tonight as Fisher's going to head to the line. She's going to be shooting two. As that is 10 team falls. Fisher at the line. She's 342 left, you know. You normally would say, here's where we start emptying the bench, but <laughs> all the benches and street clothes. So. Yep. Along with Peters. As Grace Peters checks no, she in. She does for check the, in, so yeah. very nice. She's going to get some minutes now. And no good on the second. As Vandenberg collects that free throw. Excuse me, that rebound, not that free throw. As Griffith goes glass, she spins middle and finishes with the right hand. Spieth quickly into the front court as she finds Tassel on the wing. Ball reversal over to Dwyer. That ball gets tipped away as Vandenberg comes away with it. Bush decides to settle into a jump shot. No good. As Peters comes away with it. A lot of youth on the floor here, Paul, for the pier. Yes. Oh. Spade, good on the three, right in front of the Right up and let it go. Yep. She is up to five. As Griffith with a quick three in transition, no good. As Tassel comes away with it, gives it up to Spaeth. Just they're out here. They're out there having a lot of fun. Yeah. So we've got three freshmen, two sophomores on the floor for the pier. Dwyer gets loose for a little 10 footer, comes up a little bit short, and they're going to get Peters for an over the back fall. Runner fall on the 40, Grace Peters, her first. It's dead. As Appleton North appears to be waving the flag at this point. Home now in four hours. As home of 5'7 seniors Replace is going to check Vandenberg. in for Vandenberg. <laughs> as it looks like her evening is done. Getting back to our last uh, musical selection, 2021. 2021. Who was the... Uh, Stay by Justin Bieber. Okay. And the Kid Leroy. All right. I, I won't be downloading that anytime soon, Paul, but thanks for the information in case okay. some of our listeners want to... Uh, I mean, I was off by over 30 years. There you go. On my guess. Oh, Justin, Tay Moss. Tay Moss with the offensive rebound and put back. That is her first bucket of the game. Dwyer, quick reverse pivot. Drop off. Leaves that one a little bit short. Battle for the rebound as that ball is going to roll out of bounds. Is Amber Zemer, 5'9", excuse me, a 5, yes, 5'6", five, freshman, is going to check in for the Lightning for Moss. Griffith signals play number two. Didn't like what you saw there and inbounds it up on top to Bush. As she goes strong baseline. Tassel gets the block on that one as Alexa Spaeth comes away with it. She's like a bolt of lightning coming out of there. Spaeth was a little bit long. Rebound over to Dwyer and she lays that one off long as well. As Bush comes away with it. One minute to play, Birds by 32, 64-32. And three goes down. Sophie Bush with her fourth point of the night, first bucket. There we go. Grace Peters with a little pump fake, lays that right hand in. That is her first bucket of the evening. The bench just went crazy yep. for the Redbirds when she scored that basket. 
And just as she was rewarded with a bucket, she's also going to pick up a personal foul. Number 40, Grace Peters, her second. Which is her second. Six. Griffith's going to head the line for a couple. Nice uh, Redbird student crowd tonight. Mm -hmm. the, um, no school tomorrow for the uh, nice five-day break. Paul, you heading on to the Duck Marsh this, this weekend? You know, I think probably are going to do that. Okay. So the uh, only other hunting season open other than deer hunting is waterfall hunting. There you go. So. Grace Peters from Dwyer. Grace Peters running the floor. Nice getting a dump off from Dwyer. She's up to four as we're closing in on 20 seconds here to play in the ball game. As Griffith negotiates a couple of double teams and hand grabs, Robert she's going to get an opportunity for a couple of free seven. throws here as Aubrey Fisher picks Griffith. up her third. As Griffith is going to head to the line, the 5'8 junior. And she is good on her first. She's up to four. I know the deer hunters always look for a little snow and a little colder weather, but... I don't think it's happening this year. No. It's good for duck hunting, mm -hmm. though. It hasn't quite frozen up or gotten too cold yet. Fisher lets one go right hand a little crazy as we are at zeros here in the ball game as the Pure Redbirds bounce back from a tough loss last Thursday to handle the Appleton North Lightning with a final of the Pure 68. Appleton North 38 as the Redbirds get good balance up and down their limited roster here tonight. And I'm sure that's going to put a smile on the coaching staff for DePure High School. Again, we'll just take Cruz to the 30-point win. Again, a couple of games coming up here as we've got Green Bay Preble on Friday, December 1st and Saturday, December 2nd, as I believe we're going to be streaming on YouTube for both of those contests. So... Watch for that announcement coming out, and you can tune into the YouTube channel in the Pier High School and log in. So, again, from Melinda Cook, our studio engineer, Paul Roop, who grabbed one of the headsets, I am Mark Mino bringing you to a final again to Pier 68, Appleton North 38. Thank you for watching, and have, have a, a safe evening and great yeah, Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.